Welcome to MaryIsTheNewEvangelization.com. My name is Tom. Today we're going to look at something called Sudan Judge Sentences Christian Woman to Death for Apostasy. Okay, so a woman whose name is uh, Ad Adraf Al Hadil Mohammed Abdullah. This woman, who I understand is pregnant, was sentenced on Thursday to hang for apostasy, uh, despite appeals by Western embassies that freedom of religion should be respected. We gave you three days to recant, but you insist on not returning to Islam. I sentence you to be hanged to death. So. Her Christian name is Miriam. <laughs> Her Christian's name is Miriam. So Miriam was sentenced to be hanged to death for leaving Islam and accepting Christianity. She they gave her three days to think about it and to recant. Okay. So where do we go with this? I'm going to first go to you, and I'm going to ask you a simple question. Are you against this? It, is this something that you support, or are you against it? Okay. Now, let's go back in time. You know, how many years ago do you want to go? 800 years ago? Um, this uh, apostasy or heresy was also punished by death um, by the church, by Thomas Aquinas and by Sir Thomas More. Okay, there were um, people who apostatized from the Catholic faith. And they were also sentenced to death. Okay. Is that acceptable? I've been talking to a number of Catholics, good Catholics, who actually believe that that is acceptable. Uh, giving the time, the fact that if you're going to speak against, say, the Eucharist or speak against... Uh, the papacy, something like that, uh, and they try to give you a chance to, you know, correct yourself, that they felt it was better for you to be dead so that you wouldn't hurt people's souls with false teaching that would keep them out of heaven. So this is uh, quite similar, okay, this woman you know, they're not going to give her a chance to keep her children or whoever is in her influence out of Islam. So we're going to get rid of her. Okay, so, uh, you know, how can you justify what has happened? You can't. Unless, but they, otherwise you have to justify this, okay? You can't say because you believe your religion is superior that you have the right to execute heretics. And if you have an inferior religion, you don't have the right to execute heretics. Because at that point, you're setting yourself up really as God at that point. So, I don't know that you want to do that per se, you know. I have a hard time justifying it based just strictly on the teachings of Jesus Christ. The teachings of Jesus were very clear to love your enemy, pray for those who persecute you, uh, 
you know, Jesus said, if you're not against me, you're for me. So you might not have all the teachings down correctly. Um, you know, faith is a gift. If you don't have the faith, you know, to believe in Jesus is present in, in Holy Communion, should you be killed for that? Um, and, and, or you have to keep it to yourself. You can't tell anybody that you're struggling with this, that you don't believe it, and this is why you don't believe it. Um, you should be killed because you're going to affect other people. I mean, I, I can't, I don't feel comfortable with that at all. I don't think Jesus felt comfortable with that. And he said, my kingdom's not of this world. And in order for people to truly have a free will, they have to know, you know, that there's the knowledge of tree, the, the knowledge of the tree of the good, good and evil. I mean, they have to have choices. They have to have legitimate choices. They have to know, you know, what each side says in order to have a free and legitimate choice. Okay. If somebody is going to test their unbelief by, you know, spreading unbelief, um, the believers, we shouldn't put them to death for doing that. I mean, we should just preach that much harder the truth. I mean, that's really fair. That's the fair thing. You know, it's unfair to say, well, we're just going to eliminate people who are saying things that are wrong. Okay? God didn't eliminate the devil. The devil was saying things that were wrong. He was lying. Right? God didn't, I mean, he punished them, but he didn't silence them. He didn't silence them. So, you know, I think seriously that this is so sad for this lady, you know, but God bless her. You know, she's not backing down. She didn't recant her faith in Jesus Christ. So she could end up being a martyr. Now, we should intervene, you know, and try to talk some sense into these people because it's not fair. It's not fair for them to do that. They're, they're playing God at that point. So, but don't condemn this if you're not going to condemn it happening in your own church okay you just can't have that double standard so and say well you know we're more civilized really I mean we had the gospel we had Jesus's teachings we had the Holy Spirit so you know there were saints that were trying to stop the execution of heretics so anyway that is uh, my thoughts let's keep this woman in our prayers Miriam Yahia Ibrahim Ishag. May Miriam be blessed and protected. Amen.